eardrums point to where your eyes look. Research from Duke University has shed a new light on how our eyes and ears work together. Scientists placed 16 people in a room with no sound and placed small microphones in their ears to record eardrum movement. They tracked how the individuals responded to shifting LED lights without moving their head. Researchers discovered that eardrum movement corresponds with where the eyes are looking even when no sound is present. They also detected vibrations in the eardrum just before the eyeballs shifted to wherever the light was. Here's more on the inside of the head. You actually know when you die. Research from the NYU Langone School of Medicine suggests that people's consciousness continue to work even after they've been pronounced dead. Doctors define death as the moment the heart stops beating, cutting off circulation and halting brain and other organ function. Scientists looked at patients who flatlined but were later revived and found that 39% reported some form of awareness while they were technically dead. Several recalled full conversations and saw things happening around them, details which were verified by staff present at the time. Theoretically, this could mean the recently deceased are fully aware of their condition and may even hear the pronouncement of their own death. Creepy. The study suggests the awareness may be a result of a burst of energy that is released in the brain immediately post-mortem. This finding has been echoed in earlier research, which observed brain patterns pointing to a hyper-alerted state in nine clinically dead rats. Guess this means there is life after death, however brief. That study looks at how the brain maps things socially. Ever wonder how you know where others are while playing ball or just strolling? New research on bats may hold the answer. Researchers trained pairs of bats with one alpha male labeled as a teacher and the other as a student to retrieve fruit from a stand inside a room. They noted how students typically tracked the teacher's path toward the fruit. The bats were fitted with technology to record brain cell activity. Activity was normal in student bats acting on their own, but fired when tracking the position of the teacher. Researchers believe this was social play cells in the hippocampus. Student bats also tracked objects like balls and dice, but their brain activity responded differently. Researchers suspect this could provide insights into how the brain cognitively maps out one's environment socially and physically. Anti-tinnitus device drowns out ringing with electric pulses. New research coming out of the University of Michigan may one day improve the life quality of millions of Americans. Tinnitus is characterized as a persistent ringing or similar noise that can be heard in the ears. Lead researcher Susan Shore says that the dorsal cochlear nucleus, a region of the brainstem, is the root of tinnitus. Shore says that when neurons in this region become hyperactive and interact with each other, this generates the perceived noise. The experimental University of Michigan device tackles tinnitus via two senses. First, it plays noise and alternates that by firing a mild electrical pulse to the cheek or neck. This dual approach triggers a process known as stimulus timing dependent plasticity aimed at resetting the hyperactive neurons and how the brain processes the senses. Tinnitus is reportedly the most common service-related disability among veterans. It affects around 25 million Americans. Many learn to live with it, but for some, it can get so bad that it's life-crippling.